A warm welcome to your Barbados Today Evening News Update for Wednesday, August 11th. Minister of Agriculture and Food Security in Darwir says he's closely monitoring market trends following a rise in the cost of livestock feed. Minister Weir made the disclosure this morning prior to scheduled talks with officials of Pinnacle Feeds for this evening. But I want to place on record that I and Darwir uh, strongly, strongly support competition in the markets place. I am not one who believe that you should have uh, monopolies, in, especially in small markets, because what will happen is that you will find those monopolies will then um, be so dominant that in, invariably the consumer um, loses his sovereignty and therefore um, the dominant uh, manufacturer or the dominant um, business would prevail every time. Plans are in the work to limit how people access pesticides. Minister of Agriculture and Food Security in Darwir made the announcement today at the launch of the campaign of pesticide container management at the River Plantation. He said the time had come for more controls on such purchases. So once you put a protocol in place, um, not just anyone can walk into a hardware store or farm shop and purchase um, a pesticide. They must be under some kind of license or some kind of authorization um, from the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security and Environmental Protection Department as well. Um, so those protocols are now being worked on. This is the first initiative and then we are going to roll out the others. Education Minister Santia Bradshaw says plans to transform this island's educational system are still on the cards. Bradshaw made the disclosure in responding to a plea for broad educational reform by outgoing chairman of the Lodge School, Chief Justice Sir Patterson Cheltenham. She said her ministry has set up a committee to tackle the reforms needed. We also, from early, have um, started to look at the principles on contract because exactly what you've spoken about, Honorable Chief Justice, um, in relation to ensuring that people understand what they are expected to do is important. It can no longer be that. It, it is this attitude that people are not told what they're to do, or that because you have aspired to the, the level of leadership, that then you are untouchable either, because results matter. And what we want is that every single child is given that opportunity throughout their educational stay within the institutions to be able to reach the full potential. But if the results are showing that the students are not performing, then as was said earlier, um, it cannot be that we save one or two people and we lose an entire generation. And so the change doesn't just come from within the Ministry of Education. It's not going to come from me alone saying that we need to effect change. It is going to have to come from the change from our people also accepting that change is inevitable. Fire Officer Damien Bean is calling on members of the public to pay closer attention to potential fire hazards in their homes. It comes on the heels of several house fires in the country recently. Delivering a fire safety lecture at the St. Mary's Church today, Bain advised residents to adhere to fire safety tips and pay special attention to manufacturing guidelines. Now, if you come across any equipment and I'm talking specific to those um, strips that we use to create multiple outlets and it is not UL rated, it is not carried out insignia, then you know it has not been tested to ensure that what it was built for or what the manufacturer said it was built for, that it can do. Therefore, if you know that on the strip itself it says, we're just going to accommodate 500 volts and you do not see the UL tag to signify that it has been tested to ensure it can do that, then I would recommend you not buy that particular strip because you run the risk then of overloading your circuits and that can cause fire as well. Barbados recorded 11 new COVID-19 cases consisted of 5 males and 6 females. They were identified from the 1,081 tests conducted by the Best Dos Santos Public Health Laboratory on Tuesday. There are currently 106 people in isolation. A total of 4,496 confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been recorded since the start of the pandemic. 48 people have died from the viral illness. 
under the National Vaccination Program for COVID-19, 100,698 people have received first doses of the vaccine, while 82,088 persons have been given second doses and are fully vaccinated. There's regional and international news after this short break. Barbados Today, news you can trust. Regional news now, cross-dressing is no longer illegal in Guyana. The offence was formally removed from the Summary Jurisdiction Offences Act on Tuesday, nearly three years after the Caribbean Court of Justice ruled that it violated the rights of people. More in this report from Newsroom Guyana. On Tuesday, just after midnight, members of Parliament debated a bill that was presented to the National Assembly to formally remove the section of the Act which makes it a criminal offence to cross-dress in public. The Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Anil Nandalal, who piloted this bill, reminded those in the National Assembly that the government was seeking to amend the Act and comply with its constitutional role as a legislature. We have a duty not only to enact new laws, or to amend existing laws, but to remove from our legislative architecture those provisions that may have been pronounced to be repugnant and repulsive to our constitution. And we are simply delivering on that, discharging that responsibility. He also emphasized that Ghana was a secular state cognizant of the religious arguments against decriminalizing cross-dressing. On the international front, reports are that German police arrested a British man who worked at the British Embassy in Berlin on suspicion of passing documents to the Russian intelligence service in exchange for cash. More in this report from Reuters TV. Identified only as David S., German prosecutors said that his apartment and workplace had been searched and he would be brought before an investigating judge later on Wednesday. British police said the man was 57. In a statement, Germany's chief federal prosecutor's office said, quote, on at least one occasion, he passed on documents he had obtained in the course of his professional activities to a representative of a Russian intelligence service. Both Russia's Federal Security Service and Foreign Intelligence Service did not immediately reply to requests for comment. The man was arrested on Tuesday in Potsdam, just outside Berlin. He was employed as a local staff member at the embassy until his arrest, which was the result of a joint investigation by German and British authorities, the prosecutors said. British police said in a statement that the man was arrested on suspicion of committing offences related to being engaged in intelligence agent activity. That's news, but for the very latest, visit us at www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Capital Media HD 99.3 FM. <laughs> 